How does the brain process sound? Sounds are detected by the ears in the form of vibrations and transformed into nerve impulses by specialized neurons which then transmit the sound to the auditory cortex for processing. The auditory cortex is located in the temporal lobe of the brain. The transmission of the auditory information through neurons to the auditory cortex is known as neurotransmission. Sounds are that are received by the ear are transmitted by the auditory nerve and processed by the auditory sensory system, which includes the cochlear nuclei, the superior olivari complex, the inferior colliculus, the medial geniculate nucleus, and the auditory cortex. To simplify this process let's go through the different steps of hearing and different parts involved. Sound processing is ensured by the auditory system that includes the ears and the sensory auditory system and follows the following steps. Step 1. The sound enters the ear, travels through the ear canal, and reaches the eardrum. The ear is the first organ of hearing and is composed of the outer ear, middle ear, and the inner ear. The outer ear is composed of the visible part of the ear, also known as pinna or auricle, and the ear canal. The middle of the ear contains the eardrum and three small bones known as ossicles and which are also involved in amplifying the sound waves before reaching the cochlea in the inner ear. The eardrum is the membrane involved in the amplification of the sound waves that travel through the ear canal. It separates between the outer ear and the inner ear. The inner ear contains the utricle, saccule, and the bony labyrinth which includes the semicircular canals and the cochlea. The utricle and saccule are involved in displacement and linear accelerations such as tilting the head and orientation. The semicircular canals are filled with fluids and are involved in maintaining balance and coordination. The utricle and saccule are involved in displacement and linear accelerations such as tilting the head and orientation. The semicircular canals are filled with fluids and are involved in maintaining balance and coordination. The cochlea is a cavity that is shaped like a spiral filled with fluids. It contains the organ of corti where the hair cells, stereocilia, are found. The hair cells are responsible for transforming sound waves into impulses in coordination with sensory neurons in proximity. Step 2. Once the sounds are detected by the ears in the form of vibrations, they are transformed into nerve impulses by specialized neurons which then transmit the sound to the auditory cortex for processing through the auditory nerve. What is the auditory sensory system and its function? In addition to the vestibulocochlear nerve, this system includes the cochlear nuclei, the superior olivari complex, the inferior colliculus, the medial geniculate nucleus, and the auditory cortex. The cochlear nuclei are located in the brainstem and receive auditory information from the cochlear nerve. They work like a distribution center through the processing of different acoustic waves. The superior olivari nuclei are also known as superior olive or superior olivari complex. It is located in the pons of the brain where it is involved in measuring the difference in sound intensity and azimuth. The superior olivari complex receives auditory information from the cochlear nuclei. The inferior colliculus is located in the midbrain and plays a role as a relay for auditory information coming from the two ears and its integration. It is also involved in distinguishing between a pitch and a rhythm. The inferior colliculus receives auditory information from the superior olivari complex and the auditory cortex. The medial geniculate nucleus is located in the part of the brain known as the thalamus and is involved in the detection of sound intensity and duration. The median geniculate nucleus receives auditory information from the medial geniculate nucleus. The auditory cortex is part of the temporal lobe involved in transforming acoustics into perceptual representation such as recognizing the sound and its identification. It is also involved in language switching. Now that we discussed how hearing and sound processing by the brain work, let's discuss some of the disorders affecting these processes. What are disorders of the outer ear? The outer ear can be affected by several disorders such as infection, known as otitis externa, wax buildup, bony tumor, known as osteoma, absence of ear canal, known as atresia, 
narrowing of the ear canal, or stenosis, and fundal infection, known as otomycosis. What are disorders of the middle ear? The middle ear can be affected by disorders of the eardrum, such as perforation, thickening, known as tympanosclerosis, and inflammation, known as meningitis. Other disorders of the middle ear include infection of the middle ear or otitis media, bony growth in the middle ear, known as otosclerosis, eustachian tube dysfunction, loss of connectivity between the ossicles, also known as ossicular chain discontinuity, and tumor, known as cholesteatoma. What are disorders of the inner ear? Disorders of the inner ear include Meniere's disease, which is due to an increased buildup of fluids in the inner ear and characterized by symptoms such as vertigo, ringing in the ear, and loss of hearing. Presbycusis, which is an age-related degeneration of the cochlea, perilymphistula, a fistula causing a leak of the inner ear fluid into the middle ear, and nose-induced hearing loss, and IHL. What are the most common disorders of the auditory sensory system? There are disorders that affect the auditory nerve, such as acoustic neuroma, which is a tumor growing on the auditory nerve, causing hearing loss, dizziness, and ringing in the ear, known as tinnitus. Another disorder is auditory neuropathy spectrum disorder, which is due to alterations in the transmission of auditory information between the cochlea and the cochlear nuclei in the brainstem. Other common disorders of the auditory sensory system include disorders of the cochlear nuclei. These disorders are due to alterations in the transmission of the auditory information within the cochlear nuclei that can be caused by diseases, example, syphilis, multiple sclerosis, congenital malformation, stroke, or aging. Finally, there are disorders of the higher auditory system pathways, such as minimal auditory deficiency syndrome, which is due to language deprivation in children that may be caused by undiagnosed otitis media. Central deafness is rare and can be caused by a vascular lesion in the brain hemispheres. An auditory processing disorder is caused by a deficit of transmission of auditory information between the ear and the brain. In conclusion, the auditory system is very complex and fascinating and involves both the ears and the brain processing sounds that are extremely diverse. Disorders that affect the ears and or the auditory sensory system that cause hearing difficulties, including the complete loss of hearing capacity. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share for more videos like this.